Let's try this problem. So find the value of x. Okay, so what we wanna do here is we have a triangle. Um, I'm thinking side splitter theorem right now because I see the, that this segment's parallel to this segment and I see you know this is four, this is 12, this is nine. And I know if I can find this value, okay, I can get the whole value because whatever this is, I just add it to nine and then I get the value of x, okay? So this is a multi-step problem using the side splitter theorem, okay? So why don't I for now call this y? Because I know, and I'll just write over here, that x, or sorry, not x, that y plus 9, or actually, yeah, I can start with x. I can say that x equals, okay, x equals y plus 9, okay? So if I can find the value of y, then I can find the value of x, okay? So I'm just going to set up my ratios, okay? So I know that 4 is to 12 as y is to 9, okay? So then I take my cross products here. 12 times y is 12y. 4 times 9 is 36. Divide both sides by 12. Divide both sides by 12. y is going to equal 3, okay? Um, so then I can plug it in up here. So instead of having y, I'll write it as 3. So now I know that um, x is just going to be y plus 9. So in that case, it's going to be 3 plus 9. So then I know that x equals 12. There you go, and that was super easy. I know it was multi-step. Usually we're just solving for one of these pieces here, and this time we had to solve for the whole side. Um, but as you can see, you just how I want you to think about it is, okay, if I can get every single piece, if I think about it, you know, problems that involve the size square theorem, for example, I've got four pieces, you know what I mean? I've got two on this side, two on this side. And if I can just find all four, then I can find anything. Like if it had asked you for this, I mean, obviously, you know, it gave you four and 12, so that'd be a super easy problem. But like, let's say it didn't give you 12 and it gave you three, you know what I'm saying? So think about trying to fill everything in, okay? And then saying, okay, do I have enough information to solve for the variable that I want? So there you go.